Good morning and welcome Shh. to... Shh! They're taking the ACT test while we're filming Archer Vision. Shh! Keep it down. We don't want to get you in trouble. We hope your test went well. You get a good score and you go to a prestigious college. And you cure world hunger. Shh! Welcome back to all those who went in the field trip. We hope you had a fun day. Here's our Black History Month trivia question of the day. Who is known as the father of black history? A, Barack Obama. B, Dr. Carter G. Woodson. C, Victor Glover. Or D, Guy Bluford. Good luck and we hope you win. Bite night is tonight at Panda Express on the 215 and Rainbow. Go and eat some great food and support our school. I'm gonna munch. Shh. Hey, we have a concert coming up. Please join us for our spring band concerts on Wednesday, March 6th in the Durango Campus Gym. Shh. Beginning and concert bands will perform at 5.30, wind ensemble and symphonic bands and jazz bands will perform at 7. Admission is free. That, that sounds great, actually. Literally. <laughs> That's our show. Before we go, let's help a kid on the ACT. Question 7. The answer is thermonuclear. I hope we don't get caught. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Shh. Thank you for watching our tradition. We leave you with a black history moment. Have you ridden the Montgomery City bus in how long? This is the first time in more than a year, uh, certainly since last December, the 5th of last December. What are your comments on this occasion? Well, I think this is a very historic moment. I think it is a great moment for the whole of Montgomery, and it is my only hope that uh, this will continue to grow into a greater harmony and a greater move toward brotherhood. I think it can be uh, a great move for the total community uh, in the sense of bringing about better human relations. That was Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. on December 22, 1956, celebrating the end of racial segregation on buses in Montgomery, Alabama. That day would not have been possible had it not been for Rosa Parks, who 60 years ago today was arrested for refusing to give up her seat on a bus in Alabama. Her brave act of defiance became a symbol of the civil rights movement and led the Supreme Court to rule that segregation on public buses is unconstitutional.